This episode of Best Tech features budget-friendly products, super ultra-premium products, and products in between. If you wanna learn about any of the products mentioned or buy these devices, I'll place links in the description of this video. Also worth mentioning, this video is not sponsored, but there were some companies that sent me some products to include in the video. With that said, let's get started. The first product is the GoV LED strip with support for Amazon's Alexa. This is not your average LED light strip that you tape to the back of your TV. What's special about this unit is that it uses a camera to detect the color of light emitted from the TV to simultaneously match the color through the LEDs. If you're watching a scene with red in it, it might detect it and switch the lights to red to create this really neat effect that helps you get more immersed in the show that you're watching. Now, it doesn't work perfectly, and there is a little bit of a delay, but it's still a crowd-pleasing piece of tech that will impress your friends and family. A ton of my peers have expressed interest in it when I have them over and show them this device. The only other con I have with it is the ugly camera that sticks to the top of your TV. It's definitely an eyesore. Thankfully, though, it doesn't look at you. It only looks down at an angle at your TV to detect the color that's being emitted. It's not even high resolution enough to detect the content on the TV. It's just kind of, it's really just a camera for detecting light. And if you decide, hey, I don't really like this light changing feature. I just want a solid green. I just want a rainbow effect. Well, you can customize the lights in the app and you can remove the camera if you want and just use it as a traditional LED strip. This unit costs about 70 bucks on Amazon and there are a ton of different modes. So you don't actually have to use the camera and this light detecting feature if you don't want to. Also, the Alexa support works well, allowing me to turn the lights on and off, making them brighter and changing colors just with my voice. Next, we have two Felix Gray computer glasses. Sadly, I've been working behind a computer for years without ever caring about the potential damage that blue light has on my eyes, at least until recently when I reached out to Felix Gray to send us a couple of samples to test out. They sent me a pair of glasses with just the blue light blocking lenses and a pair of prescription glasses so I can switch them out when I'm wearing contacts. Basically, blue light has been found to cause a number of unpleasant symptoms like eye strain, headaches, and sleep disruption as smartphones and computers and even LED light bulbs become all the more popular. We're starting to see way more people like myself notice these unpleasant symptoms. So these lenses have a filter that blocks out that blue light as well as glare, which too causes some negative symptoms. I've been wearing them on and off for the past couple of weeks and have, to my surprise, actually noticed a little bit more energy at the end of my day. I never noticed it before, but all of the blue light must have been draining me. The blood vessels in my eyes have been getting really big, but now they seem to be getting smaller. Granted, I have also been using preservative free eye drops. Your results might vary, but if you spend a lot of time in front of a computer, you really should look into these blue light filtering glasses. There's a number of them on the market. Felix Grays are of course an option. They appear to be very well made, they're comfortable, and they don't easily fall off my face. They also seem to work as advertised. Nutsack, the bag company with the best name I have ever heard in my life, has released a new premium backpack called the Rucksack. It's a beautifully constructed bag consisting of waxed canvas and leather and can be purchased in a tan or dark navy color, which is the model I have here. What makes this backpack techie is its internal laptop sleeve that can fit a 15 inch laptop like my MacBook Pro comfortably. Here are some things I like about this bag after using it for the past couple of weeks. First, you have this internal bag underneath the main flap that should help protect the contents of your bag from like any sort of water or debris. At first, I considered it a little bit of an inconvenience, but I'm pretty glad it's here. The other thing is all of the zipper pockets. You got a pocket up front that's big enough to hold this MacBook Pro charger and some other cables, and you have some exterior side pockets that can hold some other accessories. Lastly, I just really like the style. It's premium materials scream quality without giving off too much of a leathery business look that doesn't fit my business casual lifestyle. I also like how it's pretty darn slim. I'm not a big fan of those big turtle shell backpacks that stick out like two feet. The only downside with this bag is it's really steep price of nearly $400. You really have to be sure that this is the backpack for you before you commit to shelling out that kind of money. With that said, Nutsack is pretty uh, transparent about how the money is used. 
you can go to their website and see how much labor costs, shipping, etc. The next product would look great with the rucksack and that is the Tick Watch Pro. This is a smartwatch with a battery life in the realm of days and weeks as opposed to minutes and hours. How it manages to achieve this is with its layered display technology. You have an LCD screen on top of an AMOLED display. So the AMOLED panel is powered by Wear OS by Google and can deliver between two to five days of battery life. But if you just want to view the time, maybe some calendar related information, you can rely strictly on the LCD display that offers superior viewing in direct sunlight. This LCD panel lasts up to 30 days since it's just displaying the time and other basic information. The watch itself, it's constructed with carbon fiber reinforced with nylon and you have these two big knobs for selecting and navigating content throughout the operating system. It features an IP68 water and dust resistance rating. The leather strap is also kind of neat in that the top is leather while the bottom layer that touches your skin, it features silicone. So you can work out with this watch and not really worry about damaging the leather with your nasty ass sweat. I think the Tick Watch Pro is one of the best smartwatches money can buy in 2019. The Tribit X-Free Tune Bluetooth headphones come in at just under 50 bucks, but offer some serious bang for your buck. You have two 40 millimeter drivers to deliver fairly crispy audio with deep bass. You got advertised 40 hours of music playback, which means you know, you'll realistically get like half that. But even then, 20 hours is pretty darn good and way better than something like the AirPods, just saying. The design consists of predominantly plastic, which makes sense given its relatively cheap price, but the headband is adjustable and there's some metal sprinkled in here and there. We also have some memory foam earmuffs for comfort. Oh, and Tribit gives you a carrying case and an audio cable and a charging cable. So for 50 bucks, you really can't go wrong with these cans. Last but not least, we have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack from RAV Power. This thing is pretty darn simple, but could save your life if you're in dire need of some power. It's got a full-sized USB-A port and uses micro USB for charging. It should be able to charge your iPhone a little more than one and a half times. And uh, thanks to its small size, it can easily fit in your purse or your backpack. I wish it featured a USB-C charging cable since I'm trying to phase out micro USB charging cables, but for 15 bucks, I really can't complain too much. With that last one, those are our favorite tech products we had the pleasure of reviewing during the month of March 2019. If you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate a thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you're brand new, and let us know which product is your favorite in a comment down below. I'm Bo HD from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.